Hola, soy Sochi, and I'm starting a new little series kind of type thing. Um, I had a Minecraft world that I had for like a year, two years, maybe like three years, and it was my baby. It was like my first serious world that I had like actually devoted a lot of time to and significantly progressed in. I didn't progress very far, but for me it was pretty far. Um, and then my phone broke and I had to get a new phone and it did not save or transfer any of my data properly. So I lost said Minecraft world, which was tragic. And I've been afraid of starting a new series ever since then, like a new personal world ever since then, because it will never live up to how beautiful that world was. But, um, but I should start, okay? Like I should just make a world and chill because I do like to play Minecraft and I want to just casually kind of play Minecraft. So with this series, I'm going to try to just maybe every week, every month, every, I don't know, set amount of time, I would like to get back into Minecraft. So I'm making a myself get a world. Um, oh, I forgot to mark exactly where spawn was. Oh, well. Uh, make a world that I actually like care about and uh, play with. So let's get geared up. Oh yeah, time for the pickaxe. And now, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna set up my base right at spawn, because I didn't with my last world, I found like a really cool, I have barely any screenshots. How about while I'm walking looking for a place to live, I just put up some of the cool screenshots that I had for that world. Ooh yeah, so pretty. Look at how good I am at building, so much stuff. So here's like, so that's what's up. Um, also, I'm gonna lay down some ground rules real quick. I will probably be using chunk base and like making a creative copy of the world to like test things out or like pre-building things in um, in a flat world because that's just kind of how I chill and that's how I like to just vibe with Minecraft. But this world itself will remain cheats off because one day I would like to actually get all the achievements um, even though I don't have them, but that would be dope. Uh, let's get more. Uh, so yeah, so that's what's up. It's just gonna be chill and vibe and be casual. Don't expect anything crazy like I Don't know if you just want to see chill Minecraft times like Minecraft in your pocket kind of thing where it'll be like Like I will try to record every minute that I spend in this world Like just kind of turn on recording and like play a little bit, but there won't always be voice recording um, And sometimes episodes will be like two minutes long because maybe I just didn't end up playing that much Minecraft that week so that's kind of what's up let's crest this hill see what's up i want like i want like a fancy place to live so i set off looking for a cool new place to call home i was in the dark oak forest when something interesting happened oh <gasps> wait oh azalea <gasps> oh my goodness do we do it lush cave gamble okay i'm going for it going for the lush cave gamble iron let's go our first iron this is good stuff see this was the way this was definitely worth it we now have iron oh yeah we're advancing we're making progress we're doing great that tech tree gonna be completed in no time you know what I was really excited about is right under where my base was in my old world was a zombie spawner so that was cool but I didn't realize it until later not until after I had beat the ender dragon because I was digging down to make a monument to how gr how cool it was that I beat the ender dragon and we've hit deep slate oh <gasps> and we hit moss yes that means we're yes we're here We've arrived at the cave, and whoa, that is so many zombies. Oh my goodness. You see how many zombies that is? That is insane. You know what I should do before just charging in there? Okay, my respawn point is set. Let's smelt up the iron, and now that we have a decent amount of iron, can make full iron armor. See, look at them, there's so many. 
That's so many zombies. They're a little too far down to reach. There we go. Oops, I think we are now free to explore the cave at will. Also, these glow squids are cute, so they can live for now. I think I said that one of them just started suffocating. Oh, <gasps> baby glow squid! Guys, baby glow squid! I just heard amethyst. Do you hear that? Did you hear that, like, that was amethyst. Oh my gosh, there's so much iron here. This is, this is good. I will not see it. I swear I hear. That's like the twinkling sound of amethyst. It makes a twinkly type sound, and I think I'm hearing it. We are geared up. Let's go. Very good, very good. Oh. Oh. No, not the baby squid! Is the baby squid okay? I swear I hear Amethyst Geo. The baby squid is okay. This is good. This is good. I love the baby squid. Baby glow squid. This baby glow squid is now my child, but there's no way to make it not despawn or to have something happen to it. Imagine if you could pick up baby glow squid. Oh, that would be so cute. I'm going to dig around here. See? Oh no, no, not the baby glow squid. Come for me instead. Please, not the baby glow squid. How are you unable to like come at me? Not the baby glow squid. Please. Creeper is struggling to get to me. I can't let you harm my baby glow squid. This is difficult. No! Baby glow squid! Are you still alive? Yes, okay. Whew. All is well. Baby glow squid is not dead. Thank goodness. <coughs> right? I'm hearing... I sw I'm hearing amethyst geode noises. It's somewhere around here. Here it is. The geode. Yes. It has been found. See? It's all twinkly. It's making twinkle sounds. I'm not insane. I think I have resolved my business down here. I shall move on. Because I don't really need other things. I will get a pet baby glow squid though. I will find a way to get a pet baby glow squid. Oh my gosh, well, yes! We've escaped the dark oak forest. We found spruce. A spruce biome. That's more exciting. This is exciting. I should have brought those dark oak saplings with me. So now I'm gonna have to go all the way back. Actually, no, I don't have to go all the way back. There's dark oak like right next door. That's what I'm talking about. New biome. 
these load so I can see all the things. Let me get up on this hill so I can see things. Okay, I'm up. See, this is far more interesting to me. It's like mountainy terrain. <gasps> There's more loading in. What a treat. Whoa. Look at that cliff. Very cool. What is the best way to get up this hill? This impressive terrain generation. This is the cool kind of stuff that I came to see. I like the caves, but now we got ourselves some cliffs. This is cool. This is indeed quite cool. But is it where I want to live? Do I want to live amongst the spruce? Oh, this lagoon is kind of cool though. Lagoon, just like big open water. Mmm. Mmm. I do like this terrain generation quite a bit. And there is lots of room for expansion with a funky terrain. Fascinating. Oh yeah, that's a really pretty terrain. Whoa. Maybe I'll just live. Maybe I will live here. Maybe this is my calling. And it's raining. Is it a sign? <gasps> Fox. Yeah, I think I think I will live here. I'm not exactly sure where exactly I want to place my residence, but I do like this terrain a fair bit. This is a deep pool. See, I love this new terrain generation. This is like how Minecraft like always felt. It felt huge and beautiful and like just fascinating. And then they added terrain that like perfectly emphasize like this is how I feel about Minecraft and the terrain was exactly that. So yeah. I need to I want to quest this mountain. It's not going to be like a huge deal exactly where I settle down because I'm because I might um so I'll have like another hub and go to lots of different places and stuff like that. Yeah, I like this area. I wish it would stop raining because it makes it hard to see things, but I have decided I shall live here. So that's probably going to be the end of this episode. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a great day.